Well, all right. How you doing? This is Echo Craft again. Um, so you should check out, by the way, just let me throw this out there. You should check out uh, Synth Samurai. Very cool guy. Really nice setup um, on YouTube. Synth, Sam Samurai. Synth Samurai on YouTube. Check it out. The reason why I'm shouting out to him, too, is because... Um, he saw some of my studio stuff and I said, you know what, why don't I just do a studio tour? I haven't done one in a long time in the new studio and I'll just show you around. Um, not everything's set up, but um, there's a lot set up. So without further ado, Echo Craft Studio Tour. The production company of Crash, the movie with Bullseye Entertainment. I didn't say anything to her, but that's okay. Whatever. Here we go. Okay, where to begin? Where to begin? Well, let's let's start off with the headquarters here. So, no pun intended. This is a Wavebone headquarter desk. Um, they're a great company, Wavebone. Good guys. Uh, and uh, this is basically all my stuff and I'll just start off with, this is the Silver Bullet uh, by Louder Liftoff. Um, it's basically a very cool colorization, I would say, um, that colorizes your final mixes. Or you could use it, um, cause it's got preamps in it and stuff and you could use it for vocals, synthesizers, guitars, whatever. Um, right here I have, um, this is an Audioscape. I don't know if you can see it, Audioscape. Basically, this is a compressor, um, compressor limiter. Um, I love this thing, Audioscape, great guys. Both these units are handcrafted, made in America. Um, but you can check them out. Uh, maybe I'll put the links below uh, in the description. Next, we have the top part here. This is the Fun Generation uh, RTA31. Yeah, this is basically, um, a spectrum analyzer. I don't really think it's that accurate, but it looks cool. Um, but I do use it. Um, it is really nice. Uh, and I paid, I think I got that at um, Toman Music. I think that's how you say it in Germany. Um, yeah. And below that is my Focusrite uh, Claret 8 Pre-X, which they don't make anymore, which I absolutely love this interface. Really nice. Um, and yeah. It's, it sounds great, great preamps. And then over here, I have a Behringer uh, Ultra Gain Digital. This is a long name. Anyway, this guy here is, um, all these cables that are connected to it are all going out to the synthesizers that I'm just gonna show you. Um, but this is connected via IO and to the Focusrite, which gives me more channels. So I got up to 27, or 28 channels, sorry. Yeah, um, and then below that is a Furman. Now, what's cool about the Furman, um, this is an M-8S uh, um, protection uh, strip. Basically, what this does is it delays things from going on. So I got this because every time I turn my power on, my speakers would pop, and uh, Andrew Hung uh, on his channel showed, uh, showed this off, and I was like, all right, I'm buying one of these. It's very cool, um, yeah. And what else? Let's see. And then I have my brand new, this is an M1 Max, uh, Mac. Um, yeah, really like that. And on top of that, I got a couple of um, SSD drives, which are really nice. Um, I'll pull back a little bit here. This is a custom made keyboard that I built. My friend Dean um, turned me on to building keyboards, which is pretty cool. Um, and that says Echo Craft in Japanese, uh, which is really cool. So I custom built that and I can change the colors on it and stuff. Oh, let's see. My niece Gina brought this back for me from France, which I thought was kind of nice. Yeah, I don't drink, but it's pretty cool. Um, my little space guy, he's a light, USB light. These are USB hubs, by the way. Um, these are th uh, 3.0 USB by Pluggable. I got one there, I got one down here, I got a couple over there um, that I'll show you in a second. Yeah, uh, so let me pull back, move my chair here. So that is a 49 inch 
uh, LCD, LI, L, what? it's a display. Um, and then I have two 24s on top. And then I have a light. This is uh, my desk light. I'll turn that on so that I can see at night when I don't have all the lights on. Um, yeah, and Wavebone, again, great, uh, uh, great desk. At the time when I bought it, they were just starting out and it was like, I think I paid like $7.99 for it. Um, but yeah, I really like this desk a lot. Um, it also came with this. This is a rollout trolley. Um, and on top of that, I have my Roland VT4 Volcorder. And then I have my Prophet Rev2 Dave Smith instrument before he got sequential back. Now they all say sequential on them, but um, rest in peace, Dave Smith, great guy. Met him at NAM. Really sweet man, uh, but you know, one of the pioneers of synthesizers and MIDI, which is cool. Right here, uh, this is how I do all my recordings. This is um, a roll and go mixer. Um, so I do my recordings uh, when I have music going into, or if I do a demo of a, of, a, um, uh, of a piece of equipment, this is what I use. Now, a lot of people don't like these. They say they lose bass. Um, I've never had that problem. Uh, on top of that, makeshift little MIDI solutions, Quadra through. I use this um, to go through and use my little, uh, this is my little digital, this is the EdTS-1 uh, by Korg. And then I have my arm here with my uh, funny cheap little microphone that sounds amazing. This is what I do for scratch channels and also sometimes uh, podcasting, which is kind of cool. And it changes colors of the lights. It's kind of goofy, but I like it. And then over here we have the infamous BARP. This is a Behringer um, Op 2600. Love this synth. Uh, a lot of fun to use. Another Behringer uh, mixer. I have a bunch of synthesizers, including the BARP going into this and the NTS-1. Um, and also to controls the BARP, I do have my little... Uh, Artoria key step, which I love, and um, yeah. Then I have a head rush, pardon the mess. This is my head rush, this is my guitar amp, basically. Um, I get some great sounds out of the head rush. Full blown modeling. Um, got some great amps, created some, very cool. And you can see on the floor down here, I've got uh, an Ibanez Echo Shifter, which I love, my Big Sky, and my Collider. Um, by Source Audio. So yeah, I love those pedals, all right? Let me pull back again, I'm gonna show you, I have a pair of um, Atom Audio. Uh, I believe these are the, oh, man, I forget. I think these are the fives or the sevens, I forget what they are, but yeah. I should know my equipment, right? Um, but I love these monitors. Um, Atom's made a pair of monitors that actually were um, inexpensive. I know they make very, very high-end monitors, but um, I love these, and they sound really good with the ribbon tweeters, all right? Okay, and over here, um, and I, I got a bunch of these little tiny mixers because I was tired of having big mixers lying around. I gotta tell you, I got these on Amazon. Um, this is the MAM, or, um, MAMX2 by Mookie. I have no idea. They're made in China. They sound great. Uh, they're quiet. Um, and they're USB-C powered, which is nice. Um, and I uh, have that. Uh, I have a couple of them, actually. I've got one over the by behind the uh, Behringer mixer that I have there. Um, and then, of course, I have the RD6, which I love. And then I have the TD3MO, which is freaking awesome. Then I have down here the infamous Behringer DeepMind 12, which I love. I've got some great sounds on here. Um, also, I downloaded some stuff from uh, GeoSynths. He made some great patches for the DeepMind, um, so I bought them. Um, super uh, good channel, you've got to check it out. Uh, GeoSynths uh, on YouTube, he does a lot of great interviews and makes some great patches as well. Down here, I have my Matrix Brute. Ooh, yes, this bad Larry. Let me tell you, Atoria Matrix Brute. I use this a lot. Um, it's 
I can't even. I always wanted a Moog. Um, uh, I forget the name of it. But I always wanted one of the Moogs that flip up. Um, and I couldn't afford it. Those things are ridiculously priced. This was uh, two grand when I bought it. Um, I think it's still going for that price. Um, this is one of the originals. I love this synth. Um, Artoria makes great stuff. Yeah, so there it is. All right. Now, let me push this back in so I can get some room here. A lot of people um, ask me what this is. So this, this is a glass chair mat, believe it or not. You've probably seen the commercials on television if you watch TV. Uh, but it's not a Vitroza. I got this on Amazon from the original company that made them, and it's got a beveled edge. And my chair rolls nice and easy on this, which I love. It's better than those stupid plastic ones. All right. Okay, this side of the room, we have the Behringer MS-1. Love this keyboard, just got it. A lot of fun to play. Um, just starting to figure it out. It feels okay, you know, it's Behringer. It makes, they make cool stuff. Pretty happy with Behringer stuff. I know a lot of people hate them, but I don't care. I love them. They keep making stuff inexpensive and good stuff. Good stuff cheap, as we used to say. Down here I have the Korg Wave State. Um, this is the RD version, R&D version. Um, I got this when it first came out. Did some mods to it, some upgrades. Sounds amazing. Love this keyboard. Over here we have the uh, Op 6. I love the Op 6. Um, I never thought I'd like F F FM synthesis, but I gotta tell you, I've been playing with this thing and I get some great sounds out of it. Down here, I have one of the original mini logs, uh, Lug, whatever, however you say it. I uh, modded it with this little knob. I also painted the knobs so that they had um, indicators on them because they come with these plain knobs, which I never understood. Um, but yeah, I love this synth. I just, this great synth. Yeah. Over here, we have the Korg Mod Wave. I have a Korg fetish. I can't, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I love the Mod Wave, uh, very cool synthesizer, a lot of fun to play with. I do have the uh, all of the um, plugins as well on my computer, the um, software plugin versions, and they sound great. And I love the fact that I can create sounds and load them in, uh, and do vice versa. So it's it's pretty cool that Korg did that. Down here I have the original TR8. Love this drum machine. Next to that, I have the TR-8S, which is really cool. I got some of my own samples in there that I have. Uh, very cool. This is, this is kind of like a synthesizer, too, because there's some cool synth sounds in here. And you can add synth sounds in here, too, which is fun. And right here, I have the Artoria uh, Drum Brute Impact. Great little analog drum machine. Get some cool sounds out of that. Now, one of the interesting things about this, let me get that rag out of there, um, is this section right here is the FM section. Now I have that going out because they have individual outs on the back here. I have that going out into a Roland VT3 vocoder going into a Roland or a Boss uh, SL20 slicer. This pedal is awesome because it does rhythms and different patterns and stuff. Very cool. Uh, so I have the FM out of the Drum Brute Impact going into a vocoder, going into this little guy here, which actually cuts it up and does some interesting effects with it. All right, right here, this is the Roland Baseline, which is basically a TB303. Uh, this is the TB03, love this little synthesizer, use it a lot. And next to it is the TB3, which I love. I don't have anything turned on, so all the pretty lights aren't showing and everything. Oh yeah, and in the middle there, I got this really cool pedal off of Amazon, I gotta tell you. It's called Insane uh, by Cool Music, and it's a nasty distortion pedal, yeah. Oh, and I didn't show you this. I have two of these, I love this thing. This is the Korg uh, Monotron Delay. It's actually an analog delay, it's really cool. Um, let's see if I can turn it on. Let's see, I can... Uh, Get some cool effects out of this thing. Yeah, very cool. A lot of fun to play with, battery operated. 
I actually plug uh, stuff into it and I also use it separately with um, using the output on it. All right, up here, I'm gonna go up now. These are my guitars. Um, this one's custom made. I had this custom built for me. Um, this is a Jazz Master with a solid rosewood neck. Uh, love that guitar. Um, Brandon uh, from An uh, The Annex. Uh, check out his music, The Annex, uh, A-N-I-X. He actually helped me out um, and got me that discount to have that guitar built, which was pretty cool by Fender. Next to it is a Fender Squire Jazz Master, kind of like a Jaguar. It's got some switches over here for different pickup selections. Then I have my Epiphone Les Paul, which I gotta tell you, I was gonna buy a real Les Paul and I played this thing. And the two Les Pauls that I played didn't even come close to this, the action and everything on this guitar, very nice. Right here I have my Schecter. This is a custom made guitar. Uh, by Schecter, which is really nice. That's my heavy metal guitar, metal. Right here, I have my Fender Precision Bass. Um, I love this player series, uh, great bass. I put a custom black pickup on it. It came with a white pickup, I didn't like it. Um, so I changed it and I think it looks really cool. And then over here I have my uh, Tim Armstrong from Rancid Signature Series Gretsch. Um, yeah, I really like this guitar. It's got a nice sound to it, clean sound, uh, but I've also used it with distortion and stuff, and I'll pull back so you can get a full view of that, which is nice. And then down here, so let me explain this. This is my Alesis Nitro kit that I modified. So a lot of people were like, oh, the Nitro Kit's a toy, blah, 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 blah. Well, I came from using a full-blown TD-10 uh, beautiful Roland uh, drum set. I'm a drummer by trade. That's my forte, but I've learned how to play a bunch of different instruments over the years. Um, but yeah, so I came from a Roland TD-10, beautiful drums, mesh heads. Didn't think when I moved in here that I could have a drum set. Um, and I did some videos on this, on what I did to secure it so nobody could hear me uh, underneath me and stuff, because I do live in a high-rise condo. Um, and I modded it, so I have a, a that's a 10-inch uh, snare drum, and then I added the other toms. I got a rolling cymbal right there uh, that works fine. And I got some of these cymbals. I got a hi-hat over here and another tom here, which I use for a snare drum, an off snare drum, but I dub double braced it, so it's a lot more sturdy than it was when I first set it up. Now what I did was, I put this on a gym mat, a rug, and then I built these things. Um, these are called noise eaters, and I built them myself, and they actually work. Um, and so yeah, so that's my drum kit. I don't play it a whole lot, but when I do, at least I have drums that I can play. So let me pull back. And like I said, the studio is a little bit messy, but that's my studio. Um, and again, I don't have everything set up. I'm gonna be moving some things around, but yeah. So I don't know. I just thought I'd show it off. Oh, I have some lights and stuff. I put these things up. I didn't think they were gonna work, but it's pretty dead in here. Uh, I love the look. They're cool looking. I get some uh, two dimensional or three dimensional ones in there, the black and the uh, green. But yeah, they actually work really well. And then I have some nice big Aurelex blocks um, that a friend of mine gave me and they work really well. So it is pretty quiet in here. And then there's my uh, clock turning it to bats. Yeah. All right. All right, so there's the studio tour. Um, I know Probably didn't go over everything. I did mention the USB um, hubs that I have. I actually, that's how I run my MIDI. I know that sounds weird and unorthodox, but that's kind of what I do. Um, Cause it's only me in here, um, but that's what I do. And everything's hooked up that way. Um, I do have things going in MIDI in, MIDI out, but then I have most of the stuff that's clocked with my computer. Uh, that stuff is basically, uh, set up through USB. Works, sounds good. Um, 
Yeah. So, oh, and I forgot this guy. I know I did a video on him, but my, uh, my automaton. Love this thing. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and stay tuned for the next video. Stay creative, stay out of trouble, most importantly. Um, and uh, yeah, peace.